Hey everyone, it is 1 July 2022, and as we have predicted, uh, several things going on, but I wanted to talk about what we all knew was going to happen about GPU prices, and basically what is going to happen, mainly to NVIDIA is the big boy in town, and how it's going to basically affect their bottom line, and this is a great article from Bloomberg, it kind of gives you a, a history into their mindset, NVIDIA's mindset, in the um, in relation to the crypto mining community, so let's just jump into it. Lot to not lot to uh, rip apart here. Talk about not rip apart, but comment on and agree with. So Nvidia game card prices fall along with crypto mining demand. Uh, we knew this was going to come. A lot of a lot of other uh, tubers out there were really saying, "Don't buy GPUs. Don't buy GPUs. Don't buy GPUs." Uh, the prices are way too high. When I got into it. All the prices were scalper prices. I had to use a retail bot to uh, go out just to even get a card. But the beauty, the beauty of the retail bot was I got them at at least MSRP, and I kept them. I didn't resell them like the the, the scalpers are doing at higher prices on eBay and StockX and and uh, Facebook Marketplace. I used the retail bot just to get the equipment, and it worked. You have to be resourceful. And uh, those were MSRP prices, so uh, that was tough, and that's what drove prices up. Nvidia stock went up, and uh, full disclosure, I bought Nvidia stock. I am down almost forty percent. I am uh, I'm an idiot with trading, so never take my advice on any trading issue. That is my experience. It's entertainment value only. Uh, I do terribly, so I am down bigly, hugely on uh, Nvidia stock. And uh, I've been telling these idiots all along, Nvidia as a stockholder focus on the crypto mining community because that is what has made them wealthy so let's just jump to and jump into this this is an article dated june 30 2022 uh the card prices from nvidia fall along with crypto mining demand we knew that was coming that's basically with the uh, ethereum is going to change their approach to mining uh going to their proof of stake and well that's another video because a lot of stuff is happening there Profitability has jumped back up on Ethereum because of the difficulty bomb has been delayed. And you can see it in the numbers. That's a new video. Maybe later I'll do. Uh, but you all can look it up too. Uh, let's go. So yeah, further eroding the demand with the uh, approaching Ethereum 2.0 proof of stake. Moving away from proof of work. Uh, prices have tumbled as much as 50% on secondhand markets. So I'll jump ahead. But they NVIDIA is still holding to their MSRP prices, right? And you remember a couple of months ago, uh, maybe fall of 2021, scalper prices were crazy because you couldn't get the cards. So you, if you wanted cards, you paid scalper prices or you used a retail bot. And that's the way it was. Now uh, MSRP is basically right now the new scalper price. So uh, and uh, the prices people are seeing, uh, they're dumping them on eBay and StockX and uh, a fake book, uh, fake book marketplace where the prices are 50% of what MSRP is. People are just unloading these cards and it is, uh, it's not looking good for Nvidia. So there's, there's a statement here I'm going to hit on too about that. Uh, let's see the terminal in the crypto industry has ravaged portfolios and a lot, left a lot of small investors struggling to adapt. It has taken a toll on the Nvidia. We talked about that. Yeah, they're talking about the NVIDIA card. Uh, they uh, here's here's a statement too. NVIDIA, even as NVIDIA has tried to limit its exposure to the industry, the crypto industry, the uh, crypto rally had helped send prices of the company's products soaring on secondary markets like eBay, and that's the reselling. People would get them. They would either buy them in a what's that? But but buy Best Buy and stand in line and get them physically, or they get them through retail bots at MSRP or maybe lower sometimes using offer codes and stuff. They get them cheap from Amazon and those companies tried their best to block the bots, but I still got cards, but I didn't resell them. But guys would then go further, get the cards they got cheap and jack up the prices. We all been there. We saw the scalper prices. All right. And that has helped Nvidia. They reap rewards from it. Their stock went up. They made billions, you know, millions off of the crypto, even though they hate it. So it's kind of funny. The crypto made them. And now the crypto shall take away uh, the crypto mining. So anyway, that is interesting about NVIDIA. I just It's funny. They're making a car that people want and they hate that industry that the people want it in. It's very bizarre mentality at that company. 
And as a stockholder, I'm not too happy. And we'll talk about that below with the uh, why the SEC has sued them many times. Uh, let's go. Now that's changed with the value of currencies plummeting. Miners see less of a need for expensive computer hardware. Exactly. Their interest is expected to dwindle. It is dwindling further as popular Ethereum blockchain network shifts to a new method called proof of stake. Uh, that one, that it proof of stake won't require the same heavy duty computer processing. Yeah, miners will have no reason to mine Ethereum because you won't be able to mine it. You won't be able to get any blocks, and uh, it just won't be worth it. Now, I made another video. Last one is. In addition to the proof of work, we are in a horrible recession. It's not coming, it's here. Uh, gas prices are through the roof, food prices are up, food scarcity is probably going to start more with all the uh, food processing plants being destroyed or burnt down coincidentally, which is weird. And uh, also affecting the fuel prices is natural gas prices. And the administration in this country has shut down mining and all that crap for, you know, I don't know why, not the brightest, not the brightest folks in that, in that building. And uh, that has affected natural gas prices, causing your local power company to jack up their prices. Mine have gone up 68% uh, from 11 cents a kilowatt hour. Uh, even with a little surcharge they had for storm damage, that, that was nothing. Uh, now it's gone up from 11 cents to 18 cents. I shut the rigs off. It's just not worth it. So anyway, a lot of stuff is killing demand for GPUs. So running these things... Even if you're not even playing your video, you have one card and you're playing a video game, you have the, you're not even playing it. That thing's just sitting there passively sucking up electricity has doubled, for me at least. And I said, it's not worth it. I shut it all down. I can take that money I'm paying the power company like a thousand bucks over what I was paying or something like that and just buy the damn coin. I'd make more coin than paying the electricity, heating up the house in the summer. So GPUs, it's like that power bill thing, the power, power, power cost killed it for me. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with these cards. I'm thinking about, I don't know. I don't want to get rid of them, but I'm just going to just write it out for a bit and see what the market does. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, let's see. Yeah, by by their estimate, more than more than a third. I think, I think that's fair. Uh, the consumer graphics card market could vanish as crypto enthusiasts abandon the te technology. Exactly. And it's not just for the, like I said, the prices. And the proof of stake, which are um, the, the crypto prices and the proof of stake on Ethereum. It's also the power, the overhead cost, and uh, just the uncomfort stuff. When you're in summertime and you're running stuff in a residence or basement, it's just not, it's not ideal. It's, it's, it's horrible because you're heating up your house and then your AC is fighting the heat. Even if you have a good airflow out the room, you're still ambient temperature is increasing in your uh, crypto GPU server room. So it's a good little hobby, but you need to put a lot of infrastructure in to handle the heat. And that's why a lot of the guys out there are putting out external sheds uh, and, or trailers or stuff, which is smart. They're getting it out of the physical space where they rent or rent or live, whatever. And uh, that makes sense. So let's see. Uh, so they're saying the, um, the products are piling up on eBay's site. Yeah, people are dumping, man. They are dumping their GPUs. So prices are piling up, uh, though, though the NVIDIA suggested retail price of the cards hasn't changed. They're selling for 50% less on the secondary markets, as we mentioned, than they did in recent months. NVIDIA is holding to their MSRP. Good, yeah, whatever. People don't want to buy GPUs knowing it's potentially going to be obsolete in two quarters. Uh, yeah, we believe that crypto-related purchases have steadily declined. I'm not sure because I, I, I've always seen the trends. This is like 2017, 2018 over again. And uh, the cards, you you know, everything went down, the same thing, you know, and then people didn't dump their cards, most held them. I think I'm just going to hold the cards as a cost of doing business. And I think there may be in the future another coin or another platform project that comes out where it's proof of work and you could actually utilize the cards more efficiently than, say, a 3080, running my 3080 Ti sucking almost 300 watts per card. Uh, maybe I'll be able to run my 3080 Ti on another uh, algorithm burning half of that. That's the goal without buying an A2000 or a 6600 XT, which run efficient. I don't see buying any more cards myself right now. Definitely trying to decide how to cut my, uh, cut my cost, but uh, I'm going to hold my cards. All right. Yeah. Here's the feeling, the pain right here. The price of Nvidia cards has declined on eBay, uh, in line with a crypto crash. You can see everything's dropping. Look at this. 
a GE Force 3080. You look at that going from 1200 down to 600. Yep, same with the price on Ethereum. Exactly. It's the way it is. It's the market. That's to be expected. Uh, graphics card is a component. Yeah, right, you got that. You all know what graphics cards are. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, this is. They're talking about crypto miners has covered that the cards are efficient. Uh, let's see. Let's see the video graphics card with the list price of fourteen hundred was fetching twice that amount. Yes, from frenzied buyers. It was true. That's why I used the retail bot. I didn't want to pay retail prices or scalper prices, so the bot helped me get them at MSRP when they became in stock. Uh, let's see. The, here we go. The question is how this tur uh, turnabout will affect NVIDIA, which is the biggest provider of GPUs and the most valuable chip maker in the U.S. The company has acknowledged that the crypto slowdown has affected demand for some products, and it's not alone in facing a potential hangover. And you also have AMD as well. The reduced, pro, uh, the reduced pace of uh, of increasing in Ethereum. What is this? The reduced pace of increase in Ethereum network cash rate. I can't even read this sentence. It makes no sense. I'm going to pass on that. Sorry, guys. I'm not. A, I, the, if you can read that sentence and make sense, let me know. Holy crap. All right. Uh, NVIDIA declined to comment further. The shares were down about 4% Thursday in uh, New York. They dropped. I mean, since I bought it, it's down 40%. Uh, it sucks. Uh, let's see, here we go. NVIDIA has already spent years struggling how to handle the crypto industry, though demand from miners has helped fuel sales, right? The miners have helped this business. I'm trying to be nice. Uh, the vagaries of the market suddenly made results harder to predict. Uh, that came to a head in, the late, in late 2018 when the company blamed a crypto retreat for a weak forecast. So wait, the people that made you money because of a crypto demand, people wanted your cards, and then it kind of waned, you know, ebb, ebb and flow, whatever. And now you're blaming them. They gave you money, then of course the, the the interest went away. Now you're blaming them. It's very weird people running that company. And as a stockholder in video, I'm very concerned at who's running that company. Uh, it just doesn't make me feel comfortable with, that I invested in Nvidia. Uh, yeah, they seem to hate the people that are making them money, and they blame them for them making weak forecasts. NVIDIA warned that revenue would be hundreds of millions of dollars lower than Wall Street projected, sending its shares down 20% in just two days. That was 2018 time. But it's down 40% since I bought, what, back in November, December. All right, the company, uh, the company, the company didn't want to repeat of that scenario, so it made its gamer GPUs sold under the GE Force brand less effective at mining. That's that damn low hash rate, LHR. It also released a car design for the crypto market that can't be used for gaming. The, that was probably that 3050 turd. Yeah, the product lacks the hardware needed to connect to monitors. Oh my God. So so they put this LHR in there. <clears throat> and I did read that it was probably because they hated mining. I didn't realize that was true. And so what now with this great hack, I love these hackers that hacked their stupid, the uh, NVIDIA LHR algorithm or whatever it was on the code and uh, released it to all the mining software companies. But it came a little too late. I mean, I was able to get the max hash rate out of my 3080 Ti's, but then of course that's when crypto crashed. So it was just a little too late. I would have loved to have that back in December, but now, but it's great they did. So at least I know I can get full hash rate on these cards if I ever turn them on, but I'm not turning those puppies on. Uh, not at my electricity cost, not gonna happen. All right, so with all this crap, uh, the SEC, has criticized NVIDIA for not making its revenue sources clear enough to investors in the previous quarters. In May, the agency fined the company $5.5 million, which is nothing to these guys, for failing to adequately disclose the impact of crypto mining on its GPU sales. Yeah, I would like to see some of that fine guys, SEC, send me about a million of that and I'll be happy because I invested in this company and I have now not realized the loss, but I'm down 40, 40, 40 so percent. And it's basically due to NVIDIA's hate of their customers that have supported them and given them the money uh, to make them successful in the past couple of years, to uh, driven their stock price up to 300 bucks a share. So I'm a little, I'm not too happy with NVIDIA guys. All right, you shady company in a way, because they, they were doing back at, backdoor deals with some crypto farms out in the South Utah. Uh, the one guy was bragging about how he got a bunch of truckload of GPUs from NVIDIA. He wasn't even a reseller like uh, Newegg, uh, Newegg, Best Buy. And I'm sure that pissed off their main resellers, knowing that 
NVIDIA is selling these high demand cards, hard to get to guys in a desert, in a uh, server farm, it, a small town in, a, in the desert of South Utah. It's bizarre. And he gets a truck and he bragging on Twitter about it. And then people shut him down. They shamed him, memed him, mocked him. And he just went, went silent after that idiot bragging about it. Should have kept his mouth shut. That is the shading dealings that I think is going on with this company. I don't like it. And I wish I'd get my money back for my investment. Uh, that's about it. Uh, let's see. They're saying that this suggests NVIDIA's days as a crypto supplier are waning. Yeah, but right now, that, that's the game in town. If people want cards, that's it. If people want to mine and spend electricity and all that stuff, you could, NVIDIA is still the guy in town. Uh, let's see. I'm not going to read any of this crap. You guys go check it out. It's on Bloomberg. With less crypto demand, speculators have also withdrawn from the market. Yeah, it's like anything. If you watch out some of these YouTubers that focus on the crypto business, the crypto stocks, the whether it's going to go up, whether it's going to go down, whether it's going to go sideways. That's all they say every video. Just listen to them. These guys, you know, probably used to sell, sell washing machines at Home, uh, Home Depot or something. And uh, it can go up. It can go down. It can go sideways. Shut up. It's all for entertainment. But if you look at their viewership count <clears throat> on YouTube, it has tanked. People just don't, they lost interest. People don't care anymore. When things are down and portfolios are hurting, uh, people are holding the bags of coins, even in their stocks too. They're just like, I don't care. I'm not going to look at this anymore. It's like 2008 all over again where... Uh, 40 to 50% of people's 401ks are wiped out to the real estate bubble bursting. Uh, yeah, there you go, man. Uh, let's see. On the plus side, we'll leave on a positive. The loss of crypto customers will make it easier to gauge demand from NVIDIA's traditional buyers. <laughs> oh, my God. Once that's gone, it's a black hole that's gone away. Um, I don't know, man. I don't understand. Who is this guy saying? Who's Baird's Garrison? I don't know who this guy is. Uh, but I've always told these fools at NVIDIA, as a shareholder, why don't you just embrace the suck? If you hate it, make a card specifically for crypto miners, like an A2000 or efficient, like it you know, runs doesn't burn much uh, power watt to hash rate. And uh, is a crypto mining card. No fancy stupid LEDs on them that flash and, you know, freak you out and burn more watts than you need. Uh, right amount of fans to keep it cool. Copper heat sinks to dissipate the memory heat. Not these stupid little thermal pads, which are, are crap and they dry out. I don't know why they don't listen. They, would, they can make two branch, two model lines, two customer lines. Gamers. And crypto miners. Crypto miners buy one to N, one to many cards. Gamers buy one to two cards. It's a, uh, I don't, I don't know why they don't see the money. They really hate mining. <laughs> and uh, I'm, I'm really stupid for buying their stock. And I'm, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, what are you guys doing with your cards? Are you going to dump them on the used market? I think right now it's too late. You can try, but you're going to fight everyone else trying to underball, underball you, underball. Oh my God. Undermind you, underlist your price. And it's going to be a race to the bottom where you're just going to make nothing and make 50 bucks off a card you spent a thousand bucks on. So I don't know. I'm going to hedge my bets and hold on to my cards, hoping the uh, extra 70% 70, 70 electricity cost goes away one day. But you know, in history, whenever they add an extra cost or tax to anything, it stays. So I don't know. I have to revisit. But that's all I got. Just want to go through this little little video on what is happening reaffirming our concerns our beliefs our statements over the past months about how this will affect nvidia gpu prices in the second hand market i would still not pick a card up used on the market um i would wait if you really really want a card you could probably get a 3080 ti for your gaming rig uh august september especially or maybe later once that that stupid ethereum 2.0 POS happens, officially happens. And a month after that, people realize mining is useless as for a GPU. Uh, people are just going to panic, you know, knee-jerk reaction and dump their rigs, their cards. And you could do quite well if you actually want to buy these things. All right, so let's wrap this up. A little phone call interruption. I am back. Um, there you go, guys. Go check it out. Wait, don't buy cards. If you're going to sell them, let me know what works for you if you are selling them. I do not like face-to-face -face selling stuff. I don't want to get I don't want to get knifed or robbed. And if you do sell stuff face-to-face, -face, 
I recommend going to a lobby of a police station. Tell you just go in and say, "Hey, listen, I'm doing a um, eBay transaction or stock or you know sell," and they'll say, "Cool, cops are good with that." Um, and uh, you're good to go. Be safe. Be smart. Uh, just curious what people are doing. I'm going to hold the cards for now because something's going to come after this proof of stake. And the market, everything's down. So don't panic sell. Don't do stuff like that. That's, that's what I'm thinking. All right, guys, go forth. Go forth. And um, I don't know. If you're spending a lot on electricity, check your electricity bill. Make sure there's no extra adjustment costs added. Like I have had a 68% increase in not just the price, the kilowatt hour usage. So double check. All right, I'm out. Bye.